So as we keep on painting, we might want to erase it in different ways as well. So I'm just going to go around into something like watercolor. Let me just choose around uh, a color right here and then just paint it around just like this. So let me just choose another color uh, to make it more interesting to look at as well. So let me just choose this and there you go. The two color are mixing now. So now what we may want to do is erase it in different ways. So you can go over here on the left side where you can find the eraser tool and click and hold on it uh, to see its options just like any other brush. So over here, you can see that there's different erasers that, that you can choose like there's the brush tilt. So if you were to go over here, you can see that this is like a brush tilt effect right here. So just like uh, a brush, okay, just like any other paint brush, it has brush properties right here. So you got this size of the brush right here. So you can go around and change the size. You can go around and change the flow of the brush as well. So you can make it subtle just like this. So you can really make it subtle or make it uh, more seen. So you can see that this is much more subtle compared to what we had before. So let me just go down flow one. So you can see that there's barely anything going on right there as I change the flow of the brush just like that. So then after that, I have this. So you got the smoothing uh, of the eraser as well. So if you were to go there, you can see that it is quite smooth. So if, even if I were to shake uh, my cursor, you can see that nothing happens right there. Uh, if I were to decrease the smoothing, there's like no smoothing going on over there. There's other uh, options as well. So you can change the spacing of the brush over here as well. So you can change out the spacing. You can change out the shape dynamics. You can change the other features as well. So you can make it bigger. You can make uh, the brush much more larger. You can change the angle of the brush and you can also flip them out just like that according to what you like. So you can go around and choose the shape dynamics according to what you want. You can change the uh, scattering as well. So you can make it more scattered just like this. You can control out the filters and so forth. So all of these do different things right over there. Just like this, you got opacities as well, just like this. You got controls like bend pressure, everything. So you can see that this is how it erases now. So let me just go around again and draw out some more color uh, by the watercolor just like this to show you how other eraser tool actually works out like. So you can see that this is the one right now. I can go into eraser and now you can see that the eraser is much more softer. You can also go to the eraser and there's like uh, uh, other type of erasers right here, like something like a circle. You can see something like jittery square right here and so forth. So you can see that there's hard round quality as well, just like this. So you can see that there's a hard, hard round quality uh, eraser right here. So different sort of erasers are here. So self round as well, something like this. And there's sponge as well as if you're taking out uh, colors from sponges, just like that. So that is how you can now, that is how you can use the eraser tool inside of Adobe Fresco. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.